Okay, in this project, I'm just going to show you how to use a vertical. I just I have started a new project. I'll just rename. I'll call it multicast. Okay, rename it again once more. Multicast two. Not we found it. Maybe the it has been removed or renamed. Okay, let's start a new project. I'll name it as multicast. Maybe something wrong with that project. Okay, multi cost. Create okay. And then we have this and I will rename this package as multicast. Let's go to the. I'm going to use the Excel source, so I'm going to say new connection. I'll go to the Excel file, add, and I'll go to the e colon and I'll go to the files. I have this Excel data here, clicking OK, and I just now I will drag the data flow task here and I will just double click it and I will also now drag the Excel source in the data flow task and you can see that now I have to configure it already it has been configured to the Excel connection and now I want to have to choose the sheet I will have the Excel destination. I will see the preview. That's my sheet. So far, so good. And check out the columns. Click OK. Now, what's a multi cost? Multi cost is something that suppose if you want the your information to go into the different places, you can use the multi cost. I'll just show it to you. Toolbox. You can see the multi cost is here I'll just drag it here and you can now send the destination to the let's say we take one more multi cost instead of and we can see the data here coming up here and maybe this time I will take up the text file the other one destination is that file I can have this thing here coming up oh this is wrong I need a flat file flat file destination I also need a record destination so I have three here now coming up I have to define the variable for the record set. I was define a variable new rec set and I will make it to the object so that I can initialize the record set. Let's go to fix set and we are done. Click OK. OK variable name user rec set click OK it did not save OK let's see user, click OK now number of the input column and input cannot be zero OK yes okay. 
Okay, I just select all of them. Now, flat file destination. In this case, I will select a new flat file delimited, and the same place I will put it as in the files new file data and column in the password columns as you can see advance is okay I will not change any one thing until there is a problem like there is a problem with the mapping is done like okay and you can see okay this would become I will have to add a data viewer okay I can add a data viewer though the data is going to the text file still I will add it that's the purpose of the multicast you can send the data to the many different destination instead of just one destination now if I execute the package you can see you can see there are many windows open as you can see the data has traveled to many different destinations, the same data. One, two, and three. And that's done. And if we want to verify it, we can just go to the uh, files and look into it. The customer data is there. And we have seen that there it was at different other places also gone. The data has reached. That is the purpose of the multicast. Multicast allows you to redirect the same data to many different places. That's it. I hope it was useful for to you. Thank you very much for watching.